every election cycle, pocketbook issues are big, whether that's adding jobs, growing the economy, or lowering taxes. Would you expect those items to dominate the gubernatorial campaign this year? Uh, yes, they will. But I think we really need to uh, understand that we are probably going through a post-pandemic economic reset, a post-pandemic organizational reset. Uh, and we're not going back to the world of February tw uh, 2020 before the pandemic hit. Uh, but certainly all of those cost factors, property taxes and the like, uh, are going to be uh, major, major issues. However, uh, given uh, the influence of technology, given the influence of work from home, remote uh, learning uh, and the like, uh, we have a whole different set of factors. With millennials moving into the suburbs at a very, very rapid pace, uh, one of the issues may well be a shortage of single family homes, uh, housing affordability, uh, uh, home ownership affordability as prices get bid up uh, and the like. Uh, how are, are we gonna be competitive with North Carolina? Are we gonna be competitive with Kansas City uh, and the like are, are also key issues. So what we know now about Phil Murphy, the candidate, and Jack Cittarelli, the candidate, and their respective parties, how will each side kind of approach these very different um, but important issues, do you think? I think that's a great unknown right now. Uh, and I think there'll be a period of testing of uh, how the uh, potential electorate or polling the potential electric, elect, uh, electorate, uh, how they uh, uh, essentially respond to these various issues. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, property taxes uh, are high, obviously the highest in the nation, uh, but there hasn't been much uh, a discussion about them recently. We've had other issues to deal with in terms of high unemployment rates, uh, the employment deficit that faces the state. So I think we're gonna go through a period of, uh, of testing out which issues are gonna resonate. It's interesting because we do see some of these issues really resonate year after year, but your point about how the, the issues have changed a bit, the discussion has to change too then, right? I mean, so the candidates probably have to think very differently than they have in the past. It wasn't so long ago, uh, 18 months ago, uh, that suburbia and suburban New Jersey was looked at as yesterday's way of living. Uh, however, the ma mass migration into New Jersey from New York and Philadelphia and the like uh, by millennials in the family raising stage of the life cycle uh, have rejuvenated the suburbs. Uh, and so uh, Zoom towns uh, uh, was not even a phrase that was on our radar screen 18 months ago. Uh, and now it's a key a key element of how we're reorganizing the state and how our residential landscape is changing. Professor, it's been a pleasure speaking with you once again. Thank you so much for your time. Well, well thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.